Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing another declutter. I'm in my comfies today, not dressed up or anything. Um, so you all seem to like really enjoy my last declutter, which I was quite surprised at. Um, because it's quite a long video to be honest, I thought you'd all be a bit bored. So in my last video I did actually mention that I needed to do my lip stuff, eyelashes and I need to do hair and nails as well. So I'm going to be starting on those today. I don't know if I'm going to be doing them in one big video, it depends how long it is. Uh, I might split it up to lips and lashes and then hair and nails separately, but we will see. So it's going to be the same kind of format as last time, I'll get everything out, show you what I've got, and then we'll just sort through it bit by bit, decide what I'm going to keep, decide what I'm going to get rid of, and then put it back. And hopefully it'll be a lot more decluttered. Um, I was so happy with what I did with my makeup last time, like it's all still perfect, it's like, it's looking really good, it's good, yeah. So. If you're excited for this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, I will be doing these quite regularly now because obviously I do get a lot of makeup and skincare in boxes. So regular declutters are on the list for 2022. So we'll be doing more of these videos. So yes, yeah, so we're going to start with lips and lashes today. So let's have a look in the drawer and I'll show you what I've got. So these are the Alex drawers where I keep a lot of stuff. Um, so lips are in this one. Lips and lashes. I did a lips one like declutter not that long ago. But as you can see, it's just too full, like it keeps getting stuck, so yeah, I'm going to be sorting these out. I do also have a lot of lip products on my dressing table, so I'm going to pull those over as well. And um, we're just going to work through them. Like they were quite organised last time after I did the declutter, like I had lip liners down here, I had like the stuff that I use on the top, then lip balms and other bits, and then lashes are all at the back, because they're just too bulky. But yeah, I've not worn lashes in ages, I want to start wearing them again. But like some of these have definitely been opened, like they're definitely out of date now. I've just received a new one of these, so like that can go and that's been used. So yeah, time for a declutter. So I'm just gonna get everything out on the floor and I'll show you what I've got. Um after that, like I don't know if this will be the same video, I might be the next video, but I've got the hair care drawer, lots of bits of stuff here. Again, this is quite organised, bubbles, masks were all here, and then just other bits here, and then bigger products were in this drawer. Like my dry shampoos, the bigger kind of products, masks, um, yeah. So I'm going to be sorting that out as well, but I think, depending on how long this one is, that might be a separate video. And then under that as well, we've got the nail drawer. This is literally all nail varnishes, this is a big drawer as well. So I've got like my false nails at the back, brushes, um, and nail varnishes there. I'm actually qualified as a nail technician, um, so I do have like a huge like nail kit with all my acrylic stuff, my gel stuff in. Um, I did get rid of my gel lamp not long ago because I've just not done it for ages but yeah I don't really do it that often anymore so I thought I might as well get rid of the nail kit as well completely so it would be good to fit all my acrylic stuff in here as well so yeah I think it's going to be a big job but we will see you can see on top of my wardrobe there so many beauty boxes spare up there I have um I have loads of beauty boxes up there and I also have like these big um like storage I don't like crates because they're squishy, but like for summer clothes, like my summer holiday stuff. Um, and they're really good, they're really sturdy, so yeah, I have those up there. I've got my summer hats up there as well, and I don't have a light fitting yet. I wanted one of those really big fluffy light fittings, but when you open my wardrobe door, it would hit it. So I don't really know what to do. Maybe some spotlights instead, I don't know, we'll have to see. But yeah, so let's get all the lip stuff out. Okay, so this is what we're working with today. This is all my lip stuff. This is massive. So with them, I've got lashes over here. I also came across this like book of lashes that I had that I've never used, but like, have you seen the size of them? I just think they're a little bit too big for me. So I might get rid of that, just because I'm not gonna wear those lashes, they're huge. Um, but yeah, this is all the lip stuff. I've already started getting my hair stuff out as well. Um, lashes are over there, and yeah. I need to be careful this time as well, because look what happened after my other declutter last time. I think this is eyebrow pencil, not good, but luckily I've just bought a new carpet cleaner so I can test that out in here. Um, but yeah, okay, so I'm just going to separate these into lip liners, liquid lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms, lip treatments and anything else I come across. So I'm just going to quickly sort it and back in a minute. Okay, so I've just separated all these out. This is going to be so hard because as I got to the bottom of this, there were like liquid lipsticks in there that I'd forgotten about because I hadn't seen them and I do really like them. So. Yeah, I think I just need to make sure it's organised, it's decluttered, and then I have this over here, this little thing, it's quite old, but it's fine. I sit that on my dressing table and I put like my favourites in, so they're like the ones I always grab, 
uh, when I'm doing my makeup. So yeah, I want to put my favourites back in there. So here are all the lip liners. We've then got liquid lipsticks, which is just ridiculous. Uh, lip glosses and plumping lip glosses, lipsticks, and then lip balms and lip treatments. Uh, we've got some cheek and lip tint. This is like a plumping lip gloss. So, you know, could be in either category, but um, oh, I've also got these lipsticks as well. Love those. Okay, so where do I even start? See, lipsticks are going to be tricky, but okay, look, let's just dive right in with lipsticks. So, ugh, this is going to be so tricky. Um, I love so many of these already. So I've got three Huda Beauty ones, which are fairly brand new, hardly been used. These are in the shade Prom Night, Dirty 30 and Wedding Day. I love these, quite similar, but really nice shades. I'll just show you these now. So this one is Prom Night, really gorgeous shade. Excuse my nails, by the way. I took my Christmas ones off and my birthday nails are on the way. So this is Dirty 30. So it's a bit like a purpley kind of deep shade, but it's really nice when it's on the lips. I've only used it a couple of times. And then this one is Wedding Day, which is a very everyday colour for me. Really like that one. So I will be keeping all three of these. I love the packaging as well. It's just so sleek and you know what colour it is as well. Um, yeah, these don't actually fit in that thing though. So I just have to keep these either just on my dressing table or in my drawer. They're staying. Okay, I've got quite a few MAC lipsticks. Some are brand new from Advent Calendar, so I'm just gonna get these together now. Okay, so these are my MAC lipsticks. So what we've we got here? We've got Ruby Woo, Whirl, Twig, Ruby Woo again. Oh, we've got two brand new Ruby Woos. And then here I've got Velvet Teddy, Down to an Art, and Cockney. I thought I had another Ruby Woo. Maybe I got rid of that one. But yeah, okay, straight away I can get rid of one of these. So I'll give this one to my sister, cause she'll like that. Um, these are brand new, so I'm keeping these. Um, let's have a look at these. So Velvet Teddy, obviously that is definitely going to stay because that is just the best shade ever. Down to an R. This was in, was this in a glossy box I think? This is such a nice shade so I'll keep that one. And then Cockney. Oh that is gorgeous as well. So it's like a glittery red. This one is so nice. Can you see it? This was also in a limited edition glossy box as well. So nice. Right so I'm going to keep all those. Told you lipsticks is a tricky one. Uh, this one I'm actually wearing right now, so I'm keeping this. This is my new one, which I got in an advent calendar. This is Dolce Vita lipstick from NARS. Very, very gorgeous shade. I love this one. And this actually pairs really well with... Uh, yeah, it pairs really well with this Delilah lip liner, which I also got in an advent calendar. And this is the shade Pout. But this is the perfect lip liner for NARS Dolce Vita. So we've got some new Charlotte Tilbury's. I actually tried this one for the first time yesterday. It's really nice. This is the Pillow Talk Diamonds. It's kind of like a glittery shimmery shade, can you see? That is so nice. And that's the first time I've tried that one. So I'm definitely keeping that one. Uh, miniature. I had two miniatures. This one is Bitch Perfect. Um, which is like a nice nudie colour. Nearly finished this. Um, I also got another miniature of the... Uh, pillow talk which is in my coat pocket i think or a handbag but yeah i'm keeping both of those because they are fab i've nearly finished them as well but really nice colors i really like those formulas as well and then this full size one did i get this in the advent calendar i can't remember pillow talk medium this one is so it's slightly darker than the regular pillow talk but it's such a nice shade look at that beautiful that's brand new so i'm going to be keeping that one i've not tried that one yet this one I'm so excited to try. My friend tried this already. This was in the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. Um, yeah, my friend tried it and she said you have to try it. It's so nice. This is the Victoria Beckham in the shade Pout. So this is the packaging. Like how stunning is this? And then this is the lipstick. So it's like a very nudie kind of pinky shade. It's beautiful. So yeah, very excited to try that one. Oh, another Charlotte Tilbury. What's this? This is the KISS ING. What shade are you? Stone Rose. Hmm, I can't remember this one. Ooh, so this is more of like an orangey kind of warm colour. That's really nice. Yeah, another brand new one. I think this might have been in the mystery box. That one is also staying. Oh, and another one. Oh, this is the, um, this, I got this as a freebie with the latest purchase from Charlotte Tilbury. Yeah, so that's the packaging. So it like slides out of here. It's so nice. Look at that. I love it. So cute. I love it. Look at the colour. Beautiful. So nice. Yep, keeping that one, obviously. Brand new. Really want to try it. I know someone commented in my last video that I wanted to try so many things, but I genuinely do. Like, I don't want to really receive a product and then just have it sit there and then get rid of it. I'd rather at least try it because then I can give you a review on it. Um, and I always do my reviews in my empties um, videos every month and I tell you what I do and what I don't like so yeah I like to just give a review and I do have a blog as well I haven't posted in a while but I'm going to be blogging again on there soon 
um so i will obviously do reviews of these kind of things as well um okay next i've got these two miniatures these are the laura mercy lipsticks i got these in advent calendars uh, these are brand new one is bright red and one is like a pinky color so i'll be keeping those ones so far i've not got rid of any halfway but i'm gonna get rid of this one this is emco beauty this was in a glossy box ages ago it's a nice nudie kind of color but yeah i just don't reach for it so that one can go and then this one this is a spectrum collection spectrum brushes whatever you want to call them um lipstick now i got this in the mystery box and it looks like a really nice nude color can you see it like look how nice and nudie that is and if you look on the end that's the colour it goes when it's on your lips so it's not the same colour and I just think that's so strange so it's yeah it's like a completely different lipstick like you put it on expecting nude and then you get pink so yeah I'm gonna get rid of this one just not really a fan of that uh, Revlon lipstick I just don't really reach for this at all or ever mm, it's okay but I'm not bothered about that one, so that one can go. Um, then this one, this is a really nice one, I wear this sometimes in videos. So I'll keep this one. Looks actually quite bright pinky kind of, but it's a very nice like spring kind of colour I'd say. So yeah, I will be wearing that one. And that is Diego de la Parma, it's really nice. Uh, then we've got a few other maskers. So we've got these two here plus these two miniatures. So this first one is the shade Meteor Antimatter Lipstick. I don't think I've ever used this one. Have I? Not brand new. That's a nice colour. Yeah, I might keep that one because I've never used it before. And then this one is in the shade Vixen. It's one of the Lava Lips ones. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is quite old. I got this in a calendar ages ago. Look how gorgeous that is, but I've just never used it. And yeah, I don't think I will use that one, so I'll get rid of that one. And then these two miniatures from Advent Calendars. There's two here, so we've got shade Bang, and then shade Bang, so two of the same shade. Oh, okay, so one of them I haven't opened because I knew I'd already received it. So, oh, that is a really nice colour. Really nice. Okay, so I'll keep this one because it's open, and I'll get rid of the other miniature one. And now I've got some Kylie Jenner lipsticks. I had so many of these, I got rid of quite a few last time. These are Kylie as well. So here, I love these ones, we've got Pomegranate and Mont Blanc, Miami, Endless Summer, I've got Beach Bum somewhere, is that in my bag maybe, and then these three here. These are brand new, I've never used these and I really should, so I'm going to keep those and actually use them. These, I used that Pomegranate in one of my Christmas videos and I got so many questions about it such a nice red shade but it's like a little bit pinky kind of warm kind of red uh, rather than a cool red I'm gonna keep that one I really like that Um, this endless summer this is either the nude or the sparkly one oh, it's a sparkly one look at that I love this on top of a nude in the summer so nice Um, so yeah I'm gonna keep that one uh, Miami again this is another go-to for me I do wear this quite a lot so I'm going to keep that one. And then this one is Mont Blanc. I don't think I've used this one as much, so maybe a couple of times. So I'll probably get rid of that one. Then over here, we've got this one. I've never actually worn this. I got this in a cohorted box last December. Like, not just gone one before that. I think that's just a little bit deep for me. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. This is Pat McGrath, I think. Yeah, and it's the Flesh Fatal lipstick. Like, the packaging is unreal. Look at that. It's so, so pretty. But, yeah, I've never reached for it, so I'm probably not going to. So I'll get rid of that one. Then we've left with these ones. So this is a gorgeous shade. I'm going to keep this one. I know some are very similar, but they do have different finishes. And, yeah, I like this one. I'm going to keep this one. So this is NYX, and this is one of the suede lipsticks. And it's in the shade Free Spirit. I've got a little Bare Minerals one here. This is bright red. This is the shade Courage. Oh wow, that is bright, bright red. I don't think I've got one that bright, have I? I'll keep that one. Uh, this is this is so cute, actually. I got this in Latest in Beauty box. This is a Carolina Herrera one. And it's the Lipstick Satin in 310. I'm guessing that's the shade. Let me show you this one. So this is actually the lipstick. Look how cute the packaging is. It's got a little tassel on here. That's actually very similar to that Bare Minerals one. Yeah, that's so, so nice. 
I should use that one. I'm going to use that. And then finally, I've got these two from L'Occitane. These were gifted not long ago in PR and I haven't actually tried them yet. So, yeah, I'm actually going to try these. They look really, really nice. So, these are the Pressed Fruity Lipsticks. Satin finish. I've got the shade Carose and Pommy Love. I think these are actually liquid lipsticks, but... Oh well, they're in this section now. Yeah, they look really, really nice. So yeah, I'm going to keep those. So I didn't do too well with lipsticks, to be honest. That's what we're keeping. But this is what we're getting rid of. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that we're going to get rid of. Mm, it was okay. Not the best. Uh, okay, these ones are lip crayons. So this should be quite easy. And it's going to be so easy that I'm actually just going to keep these. So that's yeah, really quick. These are two really, really nice ones that I do reach for. This is the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Mystic and the Rodial Suede Lips in the shade, I think it's Calabasas, yeah, Calabasas. So nice on the lips, really like creamy, uh, really nice shade as well. We've got the NARS Red One. This is the shade Dragon Girl and I've not actually used that yet. And then we've also got this Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is actually the crayon. I think this is the shade Dolce Vita. Yeah, it is which is the same shade as that lipstick that I'm wearing today but in like a crayon form so yeah I'm going to keep all those because they're just really nice really like moisturising on the lips as well and I like those ones okay next we're going to do lip glosses and I'm going to be brutal I need to be because there's just too many of them I'm also going to bring in these two here which are like lip plumpers but same thing first of all I'm going to get rid of this because I've used it it's been open ages I used quite a lot of it and I've just got a new one so that can go straight away then what we got here I've got quite a few lip glosses straight away these nails ink incredible it's the same brand nails ink and incredible cosmetics these are really nice but I just I've never reached for them since I've had them so I'm just going to get rid of all four of these they're actually the the chili lips chili infused plumping gloss so it's meant to actually like plump your lips up with the chili infusion um, but yeah, I've just never reached for them. I think this one on the end is my favourite colour. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get rid of these. I mean, it is a really, really nice colour. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep this one um, because I do like that colour. Okay, yeah, we'll keep this one for now. One lip gloss. This is beautiful. I'm definitely keeping this. It's such a gorgeous lip gloss. This one, Kevin Alquan. I've got the shimmer on it. It's beautiful. I love that one so much. Definitely keeping that. Uh, this is a brand new one that I got in the Cult Beauty Advent Calendar, I think it was, by Vive. It's the Lip Dew Gloss, L Glossy Lip Oil. So it's like a lip oil, but kind of like a lip gloss. It's like a golden colour. So I'm going to keep that. Right, we've got two from Iconic. Uh, let's have a look at the shades. So these two are very, very similar shades. So this one is Nearly Nude and this one is Love Struck. Very, very similar. There's not much difference in those whatsoever, but I've never actually tried Iconic lip glosses, so I'm going to keep both of these and try them both. Uh, I've got this little lip gloss here. This is from Seattle, London. I actually finished one of these, and this is a new one, I think. I've never opened this one. Uh, this was really nice. It says it's a hydrating lip oil, but I didn't find it very hydrating. So yeah, I'm probably going to get rid of this one, because I'm not going to use this. I've then got this Glossed from Lottie London. Again, bright pink, I'm just not going to use that, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Uh, this is a new one from Too Faced, the Lip Injection Plumping Lip Gloss. So, this is brand new, I've never tried this before, so I'm going to keep that to try. This is another one of my faves, this is so nice. This was in an advent calendar last year, but it's beautiful, I need to keep this one, it's so nice. It just gives you that, like, can you see that kind of iridescent shimmer on top of your lipsticks? I've worn this in a couple of videos, so... Yeah, you probably noticed it. Really, really nice. Love that one. I've then got two from Fenty. Of course, I'm keeping these. So these are Diamond Milk and Sweet Mouth. I actually bought one of these uh, not long ago with a new MAC lip liner. Yeah, I can't remember which one I bought. But then we got one of these in a calendar, I think. I don't really remember, but these are gorgeous. Look at those. They're so pretty. Oh, I'm obsessed with them. They're so, so nice. So yeah, I'm keeping both of these because they're just stunning. Look at them. Oh, beautiful. Love those. Okay, so we've got Pixie. Uh, we've got three from Pixie. These are really nice, and I said I'd keep these last time, but I haven't used them since, so don't think I need them, to be honest, so I'm going to get rid of these. They're so nice, though. I mean, they're all the, um, I think, well, actually, two of them are Pixie and Chloe Morello. This is the pinky kind of colour. This is, this is the shade Bon Bon. So nice. Look at the colour. Beautiful. Um, this is the other one from the same range. And then last time I did a declutter, I got rid of the bluey kind of purple one. Uh, this one is Parfait. 
so nice. Um, and then I've just got a plain clear lip gloss, which I've not used, but I'm not going to. It's brand new, never been opened, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, this is another gorgeous one from Kylan, keeping this one. Beautiful. Love that so much. So nice. And then, what have we got left? So I've got a plain one here. It's Kiss Proof Lip Finish. I'm going to keep this. I said I'd try it and I haven't done yet. So I'm going to try this. This is just a plain clear lip gloss. Um, I've got a new one from Charlotte Tilbury that I've not used before, Collagen Lip Bath. This is the shade Peachy Plump, maybe, if that's the shade. I'm not too sure. That's the colour. This is like my kind of go-to colour in the summer. I really like these kind of colours. And it's got a bit of a shimmer to it as well. That looks really nice. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one and try that. Uh, then we've got a plain clear lip evolve gloss from Sleek. Transforming lip topper, it says. Intriguing. I'll try that one. Uh, we've got the Wee Cherie Lip Oil. This was from the Glossy Box in summer. Um, it changes colour with the pH. I don't think I've used it, but I don't think I'm going to use it, so I'm going to get rid of this. It's really cool. Uh, nice idea, but, but yeah, it's just I'm just not reaching for it. And then the final thing is this A New Ultimate Multi Performance Lip Treatment. What even are you? I don't know. I don't actually know what this is. I'm going to put this to one side and look at this at the end. So that's what I'm keeping then, minus the boxes. I don't think that's bad for lip glosses. I don't have loads. I've just added to the pile, but I've got rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lip glosses. Not bad. And we're keeping 13. So almost half them. That's not too bad. So yeah, lip glosses done. Okay, moving on to, in fact, let's do these first. This should be easy. Right, this is the Lip and Cheek Tint products. I don't really reach for these, so I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. Both of those are brand new. I think we've still got the seal on. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of those. I'm going to keep this one because it's Charlotte Tilbury and I've not tried it before, so I want to try this one. So I'm going to keep that. I'll get rid of these two. And now on to the lip balms, which I have a million of. I've said it in like many of my videos, I do get quite dry lips sometimes, so yeah, I like to have a product that actually works. Now, um, I have found a product which isn't here, I don't know where they are actually, I think they're in the bedroom, but I've got the NUX Honey Lip Balm, and that is just amazing, that really, really works, it really nourishes my lips, and yeah, I really like that, so I don't need all of these lip balms, lip treatments, so yeah, time for a declutter. New products first that I've not opened and I want to try. This is a new Evlom product. This was in an advent calendar, so I've not had a chance to try it yet, so I will try this. This is the Kiss Mix Cream for Lips, it says. So I'm going to try that, because I do want to try it. I've also got the Huda Beauty Silk Balm. Again, not tried that. That looks so nice. So yeah, I'm going to try that one as well. Um, I've got the By Terry Balm de Rose. I've got three of these. I don't need three, so I'm going to keep this one, and I'm going to get rid of this one. And I don't know where the other one's gone. It might be in a different pile, but yeah. Not brand new, but I don't need three of them. I opened this one in the summer. This was great, and I will carry on using it in the summer. Sugar Coral. Uh, it's the Fresh. brand is Fresh Cosmetics, and this is like an SPF for the lips. This is actually tinted, but it's a nice way to get colour on your lips in the summer and have SPF protection. So, yeah, I will use this in the summer. I've then also got the, like, plain version of it. Lip treatment, so I'm going to keep that one. I've then got this Charlotte Tilbury Hyaluronic Happy Kiss never tried this in the shade romance kiss so yeah i'll keep that and give that a go now these eos lip balms i do really like these i think i've opened one of these and yeah it's probably ready for the bin because it's just been open too long yeah that one's been opened these all smell incredible oh it smells amazing i literally want to eat them so i don't actually know what the scent is or flavor because once you've opened it it's open but yeah, this one's been open quite well, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, this one's actually a brand new one, so I'm going to keep this one, and then this one is brand new as well. Um, so I'll also keep this one, this one's Sweet Mint. But yeah, they're really nice. Um, I've got a white company lip balm, which looks pretty bougie, so I'm going to try that one out as well before I get rid of it. Um, I've got a couple from Pixie. This is like a tinted lip balm, I think. Yeah, I'm just not going to reach for that one, so that one can go. Um, and then also this one. I'm just going to get rid of this one as well. This is just a plain lip balm, I think. Oh no, it's pink. Wow. Oh, okay. That's really bright. Yeah, I won't be reaching for that one. That one can definitely go. Um, I really like this one. I did pick up two of these. This one is the shade Deep Throw and the other one was... Was it Dolce Vita, I think? These are so nice. They're just tinted lip balms from NARS. This one's nearly empty as well, but yeah, these are so nice. Really hydrating. 
Um, I actually discovered these from Lorna Lux and yeah, love them. So I will get this one again in Dolce Vita because that's just amazing, I love that. Um, I have these, these are brand new. I like these for when I'm going on holiday, but I'm not going on holiday yet. Uh, I actually got these last year. Uh, once they're open, obviously it's six months, but they've not been opened yet, so they should be good for now. So I'm going to keep them for now. So we've got this. This was in a box, I think, recently. I can't remember where this came from now. But this is a very, like, natural lip balm, and it's all made from, like, recycled packaging and stuff. I think it's so cool. It's only got six ingredients in. Uh, very excited to try this one. I've then got a classic Burt's Bees that hasn't been opened, so I love that. Keep that one. Now, lip scrub buffer thing by BB by B. I'm not going to use that, that's just going to go. Um, also a lip primer, I don't really use lip primers, so they can go. Um, Universal Lip Mask Shea Butter, I mean I've had this for ages, never used it. Base, as well as these two as well, I've had these for ages but I've never opened them. And they're just taking up space, so this is the Glow Super Balm and Yummy Sugar Scrub Lippy Ink. I'm just not going to use them, so they can also go. This was in um, a cohorty box, it's Benefect. It's an anti-aging lip treatment intriguing all right i might google that and have a look um this is the avant sugar scrub uh this was in a glossy box um last february so i have opened this i have used it but yeah it's nice and it's fine um yeah i'll keep that one for now i've also got the hyaluronic acid replenishing lip serum from avant which i haven't actually tried either so yeah i'm gonna try that as well um it's good to always have a carmex in and then we've got these two uh, Carmex Moisture Plus Hydrating Lip Tint hmm. I'll probably keep this front one nearly nude because that's a nice colour for lip tint Pouty Pink's a bit too pink I think for me so I might get rid of that one So the pile to get rid of is definitely getting bigger um, I think I got rid of quite a few there Definitely definitely a good chunk of products gone Okay moving on to liquid lipstick This is probably going to be the hardest because they're all going to be like the same shade and I have 27 of the same nude colours well, that's my colour, so yeah, <laughs> I need to declutter some. Okay, so oh, where do I even start with these? Start in the middle. Kylie Jenner liquid lipstick. This is the shade Kyla. This is the best shade ever from them. And yeah, this is brand new because this is actually also the shade Kyla, which I'm using. Uh, so this one is open, I really like this. This is brand new, so when I finish with this one, I can go into this one. So yeah, keeping both of those. They are amazing, really nice colour. Should we look at the rest of the Kylie stuff first then? Okay, these are all the bigger Kylie ones. I do have some miniatures as well, but we'll do the bigger ones first. So as you can see, they're all quite similar colours, but they're all slightly different. So we've got the, we've got two reds. So this one with the white lid is red velvet and this one with the black lid is naughty. I think one of them is a gloss actually. Yeah, this one here, this naughty one is actually a gloss. Um, and this one's a liquid lipstick. So they're both different, so I would be keeping those. I think it was this one I was using quite a lot through December when I had red lipstick on my lips. It was this one. Um, really nice. I love the liquid lipsticks from Kylie because they just stay in place, like, all day. Um, they're quite hard to get off at the end of the day, but they don't budge, which is amazing. So, yeah, you don't have to keep reapplying it. And because it's uh, matte as well, some of them, they don't actually transfer, which is great. So, yeah, I love those too. Now, these ones, what we got... I just don't know what to do because I like all of these. I'm going to keep these ones. I'm going to keep them. I like them. I'm going to keep them. Okay, this is my favourite ever liquid lipstick that I've ever come across. This is Sephora's own brand. And this is the shade 5. Just shade 5. Keeping it simple. As you can see, the writing's literally all worn off. Rouge Velour Transfer Cream something. Um, but yeah, this is the best thing ever. I bought this in Sephora in Greece and... It's the perfect shade, it stays on your lips, it's just beautiful, but it's a bit dead now. I've had it a long time, so that needs to go, unfortunately. Really need a new one of that, though. I really like it. Okay, let's do these mini Kylie ones. So this is actually a mini Christmas set from Kylie. How cute are these? They're so nice. Look at them. Beautiful. Okay, so let's have a look then. Um, it's the bright red, we like this one. This is called Keep the Receipt. Um, yeah, I love that red, really, really nice. I'll keep that one. Uh, this is more of a metallic shade, which is a bit different. Rosy cheeks, that's a bit purpley. I'll get rid of that one. I think this one is a little bit too pale for me, this nude kind of colour. This is called Snowman Season Matte. I think I'll keep these two. So I've got four and got rid of the two there. I've got a couple of new Charlotte Tilbury ones here. I think it's just two of them. 
Oh, I missed this kite big one. Oh, that was a really, really nice one to keep that one as well. Uh, brand new Charlotte Tilbury's. I've got Pillow Talk Lip Luster in the shade Pillow Talk, which is my favourite shade. And I forgot about it because it was in that drawer and I couldn't see it. So, keeping that one. This is Lip Luster in the shade Portobello Girl. So, yeah, that was also in a mystery box. Um, I'll show you the colours. So, on the left we've got Pillow Talk and on the right is Portobello Girl. Nice colours. So I'm going to keep those because I've never used them before. got quite a lot of these uh, Lottie London ones. Okay, so these are all Lottie London. We've got a Huda. Oh, I've got another Kylie. Oh, this is a lip blush. This is different. Uh, this is in the shade Bikini Bar. This was a new product that she brought out with that summer collection. Probably too old now. But it's like a lip blush, so it's quite like a different texture on the lips. A little bit lighter and don't feel like you're actually wearing lipstick. So this is great for summer and it's brand new. So yeah, I'll keep that one. Keep it out of the packaging so I can actually see it. So these are all the Lottie London ones I've got. Um, so many. I'm not going to use these, am I really? So I don't need all of them. Don't need this colour. I'm definitely not going to use that. I might keep this Shook shade. Although that is a metallic one. I don't really know what metallic do I. Right, I'm going to keep this one. This is in the shade Obsessed. And that's a nice neutral kind of colour for me. And then these ones I'm going to get rid of because I don't need them. I'm not going to use them. Uh, this one is a bit different. This is Glitter Switch. What is this? Transforming Liquid Lipstick. Read me first on how to use. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, I'm going to keep that because you've intrigued me. I want to see what that's about. Oh my god, this is the best Huda Beauty one. This is so nice. I got this in the glossy box for August last year. Lip strobe. This is their birthday one. It's so nice. Look at the colour. Beautiful. Yeah, this is so nice on top of a lipstick. Love that. So I'm going to keep that one. All right, down to the final few then. This is a brand new one from Pat McGrath Labs. I got this in the Selfridges Advent Calendar. I've not actually tried it yet, but that is the shade. That's just like me all over, isn't it? Look at that. Love that. So yeah, I'll definitely be keeping that. Look how they stuck the label on with the ingredients. It sticks to everything. It's ridiculous. But yeah. I'm going to keep this, just get rid of the box. We don't need that. Um, right, red ones. This is Lime Crime. I think this is very matte. don't think I liked this actually when I tried it on. So I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Um, this is such a nice one. This was in the Halloween Glossy Box. This is a very red liquid lipstick. Very pigmented. Uh, I've not tried it on my lips yet. I do already have a couple of reds with Kylie, but I feel like this could be a good one. So I'm going to try it on my lips. I've only like swatched it on my hand, but it was really good on my hand. Um, then we've got NARS, what is this? Lip Pigment in the shade Star Woman. Is this that red? <gasps> it is, it's that red. Okay, right. I'm going to keep this one then. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't need so many. But yeah, that, I remember that being very pigmented as well. Uh, we've then got this Huda Beauty one. This is such a gorgeous one. Again, this was in a glossy box. This is the Demi Matte. Such a nice shade. Uh, in Shaker, Shaker, I don't know how you say it. I think this was actually in the glossy box, which was my first ever YouTube video. So yeah, keep that one. This is, uh, what is this? Love it. Oh, this was in the glossy box advent this year. In the shade Nude Peach. Looks like a nice colour. Um, I've not actually used any Loritzi liquid lipsticks, so I'd like to try it just to see what it's like. It's a nice shade. Nice everyday kind of colour for me. Uh, we've then got Offer Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. Again, my colour. Um, what shade are you? Nude Potion. Intriguing. Oh, that's sticky. That's leaked. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'll try that one too. And then the final thing. I actually think this isn't even a liquid lipstick. I think this is a highlight. Yeah, this is liquid highlight. So this shouldn't even be in this video. But yeah, this is very, very highlighted. So that is the liquid lipsticks condensed. And we've actually got rid of quite a lot. So we've got rid of all these lotty ones. Got rid of this and this. Uh, lots of empty boxes. Yeah, not doing too bad. I feel okay about that. Okay, on to the final section of lips, and that is lip liners. So yes, there's a lot, some match specific um, liquid lipsticks, so I'll be keeping those. Uh, some are just a really nice go-to shade for me. Um, I've got some new ones I want to try, so the Urban Decay in shade Streak, which is literally this colour, so nice. Um, and we've also got the Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury, in the shade Iconic Nude, so I'll be keeping those to try, brand new. I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium, uh, which is going to go really nicely with the lipstick. Um, so yeah, I've not opened that one yet, so that's brand new. Uh, my go-tos at the moment are this one, this is the Delilah uh, in the shade Pout, love this one, really nice colour. Um, also the MAC, this one in the shade Whirl. 
and I've just got the world lipstick as well so yeah nice to try them together and then also MAC stripped down really really nice shade here it's more of like a brownie nudie really nice colors also my go-to um, I've also been loving the Illamasqua in the shade Raw. That's a really nice colour as well. Quite similar to the MAC one, but a little bit lighter. As you can see, they're just slightly different. Um, yeah, I've been loving those. Now, the Kylie ones obviously match specific Kylie liquid lipstick. So we've got here, uh, this is rosy. This is matching the pink one, uh, which I've kept. As you can see there. Um, I don't think that's the right lid. But it works for now and it keeps it from drawing on my carpet, which the eyebrow pencil did. So yeah, I'm keeping that because I've obviously got the matching uh, liquid lipstick. Then this one is the shade Autumn. I also kept the shade Autumn, so I'll be keeping that one as well. And then the shade Kylie is this one. So that was the one with the dollar signs all over it. Well, there, that one. Uh, that matches this one, so obviously keeping that because they're like a set. We've then got this red one. This matches all the Kylie red ones, to be honest. Um, this is my go-to for the red ones doesn't have a lid so I need to be super careful I have a lid somewhere I just don't know where it's gone okay then we've narrowed it down a bit so first of all Huda Beauty lip contour in the shade Venus very similar shade but really nice color so I'll keep that one this one by Helen E is such a nice everyday go-to this is actually from Debenhams it's just on one of the counters I uh, really like that one and I do have a new one of that this one and it's waterproof as well so yeah i really like that one so i'm keeping that one um then what we got here i've got another one right so we've got a couple from steve Laron and a couple from scent lux we've then got lottie london's and that's it i think so steve Laron, what are you saying let's have a look see this is the darkest one i've got that's like a bit more purpley this is the shade vogue whereas this one is the shade uptown I feel like maybe I've already got a very similar shade to Uptown. Yeah, I've never even used that one. Look how sharp it is. Mm, all right, I'll get rid of that one because I obviously don't use it. I might keep this purpley one for now because it's the only kind of purpley one I have. Uh, right, the two from St. Lux. These were like a Valentine's one. To be honest, I didn't think these were great. They weren't very easy to draw with. So, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of both of these. They're very nice colours, but yeah not the best and you know i've got some more shades in there so yeah i'll get rid of those then we're left with these five from lottie london what we're going to do with these okay so so these are all slightly different they're all called the sleigh all day so i don't know why three have got the black um ends of the pencil and then two have actually got the colors on it so no i've never actually used any of these so i'm just going to try them i mean i probably don't need any of them but i've never tried them so yeah obviously i might see if jen wants a couple to be honest but yeah, they're fine. Okay, so we only got rid of three there, but it's hard with lip pencils because obviously all the Kylie ones match those lipsticks there. And then I have quite a few different go-tos. So just before I put those back in my drawer, I thought I'd just quickly do lashes because I have quite a few, but I just don't use a lot of them. Um, so my go-to are these are like double wispies. So it's like the Demi Wisp, but it's a double wisp, so there's just more of it. Really love those. Yeah, they're my absolute go-to. I love that they're all different lengths, so it's not like this one this just looks too fake this looks more natural for me so these are my go-to um i also recently picked up from asos these which are like the wispies but they're meant to last six days so very excited to try these so yeah i really like the wispy they just look more natural for me uh, in my opinion so yeah um never use these but i just don't like them when they're all one straight line so i'm gonna get rid of these and these ones not a fan these are just a bit too much for me like yeah just not for me these i've had for the longest time but these are like the best for like a full like really really glam makeup look for me so i just like to keep these in because they're just they're my favorite um i just don't wear them anymore but i'm gonna keep them anyway because they're just so cute okay these two here so we've got the Ilo naturals they're three quarter length and then we've also got these three quarter lengths I've never tried these, but I feel like they will look quite natural. So these are almost like the Demi Wispies. Obviously, it's a different brand, but these look quite cute. So I'm going to keep these and try these ones. Um, I don't think there's much point in me trying these because they're just, like, too natural for me. If I'm going to wear lashes, I like, you know, to be able to actually see them, but not too much. Like, not that, but I like to actually see them. So, yeah, they're just a bit too extreme. So I'm going to get rid of those ones. Then we've got some individual lashes. Um... I like to keep these in because sometimes I just like to put a couple on the end. Oh, I've got some more 
three quarter length light and whisper. These are number 11. These are number two. Oh, quite different. Yeah, I'll try those. I don't think I like these ones to be honest. The volume pack. They're just very straight, aren't they? Although mm, they're a little bit feathered. Mm, maybe. These are very long. They're so cool. They're very natural looking, aren't they? I quite like those ones. I think I'll keep those. I don't really like these ones. Um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of those ones. And then I'll keep these for now. They're super long, but if I ever have like a bit of a YOLO makeup day, you know, give them a go. Um, I seem to have already used a pair here, so maybe I like those ones. I can't actually remember, so I'm going to keep those for now. So yeah, the ones I'm going to get rid of are these very almost invisible ones. Um, these ones, these ones, these from LA Splash, and these very bold ones. So I've just put my faves back into this little tray. So I've just picked out like the ones that I'm going to use. So these are the two new Charlotte Tilbury ones. This is the NARS Dolce Vita I'm wearing today. This is a new mini Illamasqua, which is a really nice everyday colour. Again, another new Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury I'm already using. And that's bright red. Uh, this is that NYX colour. Uh, we've then got the Illamasqua Meteor. My three Kyla lipsticks, then a whole row of MAC, all the different ones. And then liquid lipsticks at the back. So I've put this Kylie one. I love this one. This is low key. I've then got the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. The Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Kylie with the matching lip liner. My favourite lip gloss at the moment, Marc Jacobs. I've then got my two lip crayons, uh, which are very nudie, uh, which also go nicely with this lip liner. And then my go-to lip liners. So that's going to sit on my dressing table. Next to it, I'll put these three Huda ones. This doesn't actually fit in here. It's so annoying. It's just a little bit too big. It just doesn't, doesn't fit. Which is very annoying. So they just have to sit at the side of it. I'm also going to put this Victoria Beckham one at the side of it as well. Because um, I really like that. And yeah, now I'm just going to organise the rest and put them back in my drawer. There we have the finished drawer. All tidy. All organised. So I've got the lashes up here. And a little bit in the back there as well. This is on my lip balms. These are my liquid lipsticks and lip glosses with a few lip glosses here. Um, all my lip liners and a few lipsticks that wouldn't fit in my organiser. And that is it. Are now done. So this is everything I got rid of from my lip declutter, which I'm very happy about. There's quite a lot of like bulky things there. Um, and then also those lashes here. And this huge thing of lashes. I just can't really use these. Um, these are all brand new. It looks like that one's started to come off a little bit. Um, but yeah might see if somebody wants this. I do have a Depop that I can put like brand new makeup on um, if anyone wanted pieces but I'll see. But yeah, lots of declutter in there. So I just forgot to mention these few items here. These were on my bedside table. This is the best for me ever. This fixes my dry lips like, oh it's amazing. It's so so good. I got a couple more of these for Christmas so I'm definitely stocked up now. This, I absolutely love Sol de Janeiro's Bon Bon Cream. There are other moisturisers, the, uh, the, everything I've tried from them, it's just been amazing. Apart from this, this like, it moisturises my lips, but I don't know if it's because of the scent, the fragrance or something, it just irritates them a little bit. But they're moisturised, but they're still itchy, so I don't know. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of this. Then, I actually bought this last summer. Uh, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Lip Oil Crystal Elixir. I also don't really like this. It says lip conditioner by day, lip mask by night. This... Like, it just irritated my lips still. I thought this would be it. I thought this would fix my lips, but it just really didn't. So, yeah, I'm also going to get rid of that. This is the Glow Recipe Lip Pop. Um, this is absolutely fine. So this is it's like a lip balm, but it kind of, like, exfoliates at the same time. Um, and, yeah, this is really nice. The only thing I have to be careful with this is that because it's pink, it does also, like, if I put it all around my lips at night to, like, moisturise them like I would do with this one, if I forget and do it with this, I end up with like bright pink lips in the morning, like all around my lips, it looks a bit silly. But yeah, so I'm going to be keeping that one, but yeah, I'm going to get rid of those two. So it's a real shame, this smells incredible. It just smells like the bum bum cream, but yeah, just no good on my lips and neither was that. So I'm going to say bye to those two. So that was the finished result. Again, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, all my lips and lashes are now done. So yeah, nice big declutter. Got rid of all the stuff I just don't need and made more space. So I'm very happy with that. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Um, I'm going to do my hair declutter and nails in a separate video because it's just probably too long now. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in another video.